to the best of the experts in the market and the general consensus is that no bad news will be good news. If you get a tax increase uh, in markets, uh, there will be a short-term reaction. Um, but I, I think it sort of remains to be seen as to how deep it will be because, uh, you know, we, you know, market usually will adjust one time for this kind of event. It will not be something you'll hang on for a long time. And you cannot see that in uh, sort of isolation alone. For example, uh, if you're going to 25% tax rate, let's say, on corporates over a period of time, that is a 5% boost in earnings, effectively. Uh, so if the tax rationalization is, uh, you know, the entire is part of a gamut of things, uh, which makes sense to the market, then I don't think you might see that kind of reaction. Also remember that long-term probably is also equally important in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, you know, tax rates, because effectively by taking out Mauritius Treaty and Singapore Treaty, you essentially have introduced, um, you know, much larger portion of parts in the markets are paying a much larger short-term capital gains, no impact on the market. So the fact is that a bunch of IIs who are paying no taxes so far are starting to pay taxes, has had no impact on the market. I think, um, you know, a small percentage increase might not sort of uh, alone cause the market to, to delay. Okay, 15 to 20 will not uh, disrupt the market. But before I come to Sudhir uh, for more complex questions, uh, Navneet, what if short term is not one year, but two years? I think in a, if, a, if you have a year where economy is growing at 9%, corporate profitability is growing at 15%, markets are doing well, global investors are putting money, domestic investors are quite enthused, that could be a good environment to do that. I think given that in next couple of years, huge amount of divestment needs to happen. And if, if the market sentiments are not good, global investors, I mean, till, maybe till a couple of months back, we were the only oasis of hope for the world. But today, you look around the world, US markets are doing well, UK is doing well, despite Brexit. I think this year European equities could do well despite all the political challenges. Some of the other commodity producing countries are doing well. So I think we, we, we have to face that competition for the uh, global flows also. So maybe I think it can wait for some more time. What is the most likely alteration or tweaking you expect on the corporate front? So I think two quick points, Salata. I think I agree that uh, uh, if you increase the threshold limit significantly, you are actually it's counterintuitive to your objective of increasing the tax base. Uh, instead, why not, for example, uh, think of a 5% tax rate at the lower levels of income, which is, takes care of the, you know, the, the massaging point, but it also serves to incentivize a particular category of taxpayers, particularly self-employed. Do you expect it? I think so. I think it can, can, uh, it can be a more realistic expectation than... You know, for example, our own survey at EY, the response was that a majority thought the exemption limit should go up to 5 lakhs, which I think is far more challenging for the government. But a 5% rate is far more realistic at lower levels of income, as an example. So I think that's one point. Uh, the other point is about, you know, the corporate, which you rightly mentioned. I personally feel this is the budget when you will actually find a statement articulating the rate of corporate tax for this year as well as the next year. If the corporate tax timetable, as he says, doesn't come, is it a deal breaker for markets? I think the expectations are that something will be done this year. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of taxes and tax uh, to GDP ratio, uh, before I come to exactly what kind of tax growth you can expect, which uh, 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 Sudhir alluded to, how important is the fiscal deficit? Ultimately, we all measure the reform credentials or the discipline credentials by the fiscal deficit number, three and a half in the current year. How much should it be next year to tick that box, Aditya? You know, I, I would say the direction is very critical. If you don't go down, then it'll be, a, it'll be a little bit of a challenge. The actual hard number, I would say, is going to be less important, in part because it's very difficult to take a call on numbers this year between demonetization, between GST, that's, um, uh, that's effectively coming. And in part because I think there will tend to be some kind of an expansionary bias that is going to be there with this government, simply because you know a lot of the things that have not come through in terms of growth and job creation and things like that, that needs to be addressed a little bit. So I suspect you know if you stay at 3.5, it's going to be massively disappointing. If you come to 3.2, 3.3, it's good enough. It will not unsettle the markets. And getting to a three number, which I would suspect will need to be pushed is not something that everyone will necessarily buy. All right, so those are all the expectations uh, 